Welcome everyone. Tarianne Hyman here. This is my energy focus for the week for the Empowered Spirit Show. This is where we come on, we look at what's going on cosmically, we talk about it, and we align our energy together, and we look to the cards for guidance as well. So welcome, welcome, welcome. How was your weekend? What did you guys notice with that new moon that came in on Friday in Aquarius, bringing in lots of change, lots of forward motion? And then we had the year of the rat, the Chinese New Year started. Very interesting. Notice anything going on for you? So, so intense. Yes, it was for me too. I have to admit, it really was for me too. I'm feeling pretty good. The weekend started out really great. I didn't think I was going to have a Reiki class. All of a sudden, I had a Reiki class. I'm preparing. I'm putting it all together. Then Saturday morning, I wake up. I do my practice. I feel great. I'm headed to the studio. And I had the strangest experience. I just wanted to share because it had a little aha moment in it for me. And I feel like it had to do with the new moon and all the shifting of energy going on, transitions in my own life. So here I am. I'm getting off I-20. I'm going towards the studio. And I noticed a car going really fast. Like, whoa, look at that guy go. And then I caught up with him. I caught up with the uh, red light. And I'm like, I wonder if this is a Tesla. Like, this is a really cool looking car. And I'm trying to read it. No, there's no like emblem on there except for their little like, Next thing I know, the car's going like zero to 50 in two seconds. Like, yep, it's a Tesla, right? So anyway, I go to turn. I go up and over 6th Avenue and right there going through. As I move through, I went into this state. I was about to be hit. I saw a car coming. It wasn't going to stop. And I couldn't like I did. I was like, I don't know. I went into slow motion. I felt very guided. Like, okay, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. Can I get out of it? I thought maybe I was going to scoop by it. Everything was in slow motion. It was like really feeling very protected, feeling that divine guidance, that run moment, right? Like like I was talking to Bailey today. Hey, Bailey, I see you there. She's like that moment right before the inhale, right? You made me think of that. Like, what's going to happen? And I did. I got hit. I got hit. I got hit by a Tesla of all cars to get hit by, right? Hit the side. Air bugs went off. And I really just felt like, oh, my gosh. And I kept it together. I was very calm. I was just like, what is going on? What happened? I get out of the car. And he was really nice. He was super upset. His fault, we know. But there was this moment in time when you wonder, like, what's going to happen? Am I going to be okay? And that energy kind of stayed with me. And I went on and I taught the Reiki class. I had a great class. Students I didn't even know, they held the space for me to get there. The police guy, woman, woman for our beat, that's what she said. I'm your beat cop. She gave me a ride to the yoga studio. And I'm like, come on, I'll give you a treatment the whole bit. At any rate. It was pretty intense. It really was. And then Saturday evening after I got home from teaching, Paul was cooking dinner and I'm like, all right, I'm going to go take a bath. And I decided to do the meditation. New podcast this week, new podcast out about the new moon, about the impasse and sensitivity and the difference between new moon and full moon. And I offered a bath ritual. I said, I'm going to just listen to my own meditation, right? Like I want to take my own advice, right? I do the work. And so I got a nice salt bath and I did the meditation and I really finished having that like that aha moment, you know, and the aha moment for me was like, I was super lucky. Like it's not time for me to leave this earth yet. And that I have a really big message to share. And it's really important that I get out there. So for me, it was a really great way to open up to the intentions. I got out of the bath. I followed the ritual. I wrote down intentions with this in mind. And I feel like all this energy has pushed me forward into exactly the energy we're talking about. Get out of our way, expand our energy, stand up, make a change, make a difference. And all of that energy is being brought forward for each and every one of you as well. We have that opportunity to make those transitions. I have been hanging in a transition from the ending of my mom and grieving and moving out of the family home to buying a new home and moving. But I'm like caught, like I couldn't let go of some of those old patterns. They were stuck. They were in me. And I've been trying and I've been like having this like, you know, upper respiratory, and now things are starting to move out. And having that aha moment kind of pushed me through into that Aquarius energy. And that's exactly where we are. And that's the energy that's coming in for this week. It's like, what are your intentions? What are you setting out? And where can you really, really get out of your own way? Right? Now, don't go through a car wreck just to get there, okay? We don't need to do that. But we do need to really open up to, like, what is underneath it all? How can you make changes in your life? So as we start this, 
Thanks, Leah. Yes, definitely. My challenge, my practice really helped me through. I was so calm. I didn't cry. I even had the idea, like, I better call mom. Like, no, I can't do that anymore. And that didn't make me cry either. I was very calm, running Reiki the whole time, running Reiki on the guy that hit me. Super nice guy. He was really upset. And he was actually, anyway, he, he really was super sweet, already taking care of everything. So it'll get fixed out, figured out, right? But that aha moment and that bubble of energy. So as we start the week, so as we start the week, we bring this new moon energy. We notice where we are in our own lives. All right, we've got a little shifting around. The sun is in Aquarius. We've been talking about that the last couple of weeks. All right, and we also have the uh, Mercury in Aquarius. We have Venus in Pisces. And now the moon is going to actually move into Pisces now. Tonight and tomorrow is going to start to move into Pisces. And it's going to come into that Venus energy, which I'll talk about. But the sun in Aquarius really is from now to about mid-February, February 18th. And this is when we're really motivated by our hunger for knowledge, our experience, and our originality. That's what keeps coming back to me. My friend Tina, Tina, if you come on, I'm giving you a shout out from the Intuitive Woman on Friday, drew the dog card for me. And that was all about like being really loyal to yourself. What is it you want to say? What is it you want to do? Not what everybody else thinks you should do. What is it you want to be loyal to? And I thought that was a great card for me. And that's the energy as well. All right. The other thing we're going to see is like that creativity for innovation to come through. Where can you be that original source of energy for yourself? All right. A lot of the other things we've been working things, things you may be even believing in. I know for me, they're becoming outdated. We're having to open up, letting go of those restrictions especially the restrictions we put on ourselves. I've been talking about this. I feel like I've had to keep my voice quiet in the South a little bit. Like, shh, you know, I talk about that. Shh, don't say it. And like, no, like we do need to talk about this now. And I have been having visions of what it is we need to do. So look to your dreams, look to your visions this week to help you bring forward. Aquarius has got that forward motion, your intentions. Now, whether you set new ones yesterday, and if you didn't set them, you can go ahead and set them. It's always best on the new moon, but we're still pretty close. Right, or maybe they are like shifted from the beginning of the year. Maybe you're clear of what it is that you want to do. But these are the things you want to bring forward, and they can pay off in a, in a big way this year. It is going to take diligence. We have that Saturn energy, so you are going to have to do work. It's not just going to like appear. You may have ahas, like I was talking about for me, and you may notice that now you do have a clearer picture, but you're still going to have to do the work. All right, that's just what it is. All right, some of that Mercury energy coming in with Aquarius. Like we're going to see our communication and we're hunger for knowledge and we want to share and we want to get out there. Our thinking even is going to be more progressive and objective and also the way in which we share it. So communication and thought patterns this week are really important. Notice your vibe. Notice how you're communicating. All right. We all noticed yesterday in our Reiki class, we all had this energy, intense buildup of energy in the throat chakra. So be sure to work through that throat chakra. Run Reiki on it as well. All right, the moon will enter in Pisces like tonight, I believe it is, tomorrow. So that's that intense psychic energy, that intuitive energy. Go in, ask yourself what your dreams are. Ask yourself what your visions are. Ask yourself what you can shift and change. I mean, just imagine, imagine how it would feel if you go in and you can get so connected with the universe that you sense these subtle shifts, that you have these moments in time that everything seems to slow down in our busy, crazy world where you have that clarity. This is the energy coming in for us this week, all right? Really opening up and seeing what's going on. Now, you may notice a little bit of swinging of energy, all right? So ground, ground, ground. Make sure you schedule time for meditation, all right? Because you want to find that balance. Really important. And that's the best thing that you could do is like meditate. I will say... These last several mornings, I've been working with Dr. Joe Dispenza's meditation, Blessing the Chakras. I've been really, really diligent for my lungs, my asthma, getting it out of there, doing pranayama for another 20 minutes, doing a kundalini practice. So find the practice for you, whatever it is, but spend time quieting down. All right, really important. Over these next several weeks, actually, all right, this new moon is pushing us forward. We have a lot of planets pushing us forward. Don't want to go so fast. Saw that yesterday, right? We don't want to do that. We want to be able to slow down. Now, one of my great astrologers, and I actually just got a beautiful um, hanging. I don't know what you call it, but it's it's a really power, beautiful thing to hang in the corner of my window to help really open up some energy for me. But she is saying that according to her, according to Tashi Powers, you can find her on Instagram. She's awesome. She works a lot with Guru Jagat. The moon heads into Venus on Tuesday, creating this third Venus gate. She's been talking a lot about these Venus, this Venus gate. So super positive 
wishful day on Tuesday. Really just bathe in. It's got some Neptune, some moon, some Venus energy, really in that moonlight coming in. All right. So finding that place for you to take that time and really open up to what is it your wishes are. And we can only get clear when we write these down and really ask these questions. Otherwise, it's like infinite possibilities and it's hard to know what to ask for, right? That's what I've noticed. The clearer I get, the more detailed I get, even in my finances, I'd rather be intuitive, but I am getting really clear with everything and it's making it easier to understand. And then I have some limits for myself too. Budgets, right? Same idea. Saturn energy, that's that Saturn energy coming in. Now, if you follow the Chinese astrology, you'll know that we just entered into the year of the rat. All right, I actually did talk a little bit about that on the podcast, so be sure to listen and find more details. All right, and it is, it's is—it's a great episode and really the bath ritual. Get your salts, get your bath ready. You don't have to use the crystals, I said. I actually did other crystals. I couldn't find the ones I suggested for Aquarius. Doesn't matter. Get the quartz, rose quartz, take a bath, do the ritual. Really good. But the rat is like the energy. It's like the first of all the zodiac animals here. We are in this new decade, very much in alignment. It has the yang energy, very forward motion, very much in alignment with that Aquarius energy as well. And really in Chinese astrology, they really, the, the folklore is that they saw in that signs of wealth because they multiplied really easily. So people that wanted to have children would actually like kind of pray to them and bring their energy in. So I thought that was kind of interesting. They can be abundant, right? Some cities. <laughs> anyway, rats are clever. They can be very quick thingers, supposedly, according to lore. And they can actually be a little content living a quiet and peaceful life, doing their own thing, right? That kind of thing. So it is predicted and this metal rat of the year, that it's going to be a pretty strong and, pos and prosperous and lucky year from almost all the Chinese zodiac signs. So you do kind of need to check in your sack. I'm a sign. I'm a rooster. So depending on what you are, but it should be a really good year for everyone. It will be a year that you're going to build that determination going forward, requiring goals, requiring aspirations so that you can like really kind of move along and create the energy that you want. So it is focused on more long-term projects this year and having the ability to really build those foundations, all right? So being very careful with that and making sure that you do plan what you're doing, all right? I think that's a great prediction and forecast for the Chinese New Year. So all in all, this week, we're continuing with that building of energy. We're continuing with our manifesting energy. Keep working on that. Be sure to have a little celebration as Chinese as Chinese lore tells us, really celebrate right now. You don't have to clean this week. I always love that aspect of it, right? And notice how you can move your week forward, all right? And again, the big focus is on Tuesday. Make a wish, right? Make a wish for your work, your life, whatever it is, and raise that vibration for you, all right? Good. All right, so let's take a moment and pull our energy together. I'll light a little sage so that we can align going into this week. Taking a nice deep inhale wherever you are. If you can, just close your eyes for a moment. And just exhale out. Slowing down just a bit. Inhaling. And exhaling. Pulling your energy in. Starting to call it back from the weekend. Starting to feel that alignment coming in. Spiritual body right on top of the physical body. Calling in your higher self. And just letting go of all the energy from the weekend, pulling your energy in, calling it in, feeling that alignment coming in, taking a moment and just slowing down, reorganizing the energy body, inhaling and exhaling, feeling the connection with the earth. And as you inhale, bring it up the body, feeling the connection with the higher realms. Exhale, coming back down. Dropping the awareness right into the heart as we began to call in. Opening up to this energy, calling in our guides and our teachers. And as we look to the medicine wheel, the energy of winter is in the direction of the north. We honor this direction as we call in our dreams and our visions. We call in the energy of those that have come before us. The wise council, Sabian symbol right now, the wise council bringing it in, aligning that energy for guidance and protection, calling in the directions to the north, the east, the south, and the west, above us, below us, right into the very center, feeling that alignment with your spirit. 
Just beginning to set your intention for this week, seeing it right in that third eye center. What is your intention for this week? And then allow the elevated emotions of those intentions. How will you feel as these intentions coming in? How will you feel? Peaceful, joyful, grateful, abundant, love. Let those elevated feelings open up. Let it radiate out through your body, through the auric field, out into the world. Release the attachments to the intentions and just hold that energy of vibration for you for this week. Sending it out. Releasing the attachments. Raising those elevated emotions. Let that energy radiate out. And just begin to picture your week as you move through it. In those elevated emotions, see yourself happy, joyful, aligned with peace, whatever it is for you as you move through this week. Releasing that energy out, bringing yourself back to center, feeling the feet flat on the floor, taking another deep inhale and exhale. Feeling that connection with Mother Earth, helping you to ground the energy Feeling yourself aligned. Taking another deep inhale. And exhale. Just bringing that awareness back. As you've set the energy for the week. Good. Coming back. So we'll look to the cards for the guidance. Yes, Kate, thank God I was okay. Very intense experience. Hey, Summer. All right. Summer made me this beautiful top. Okay, let's look to the cards. I felt such a big change this week in my energy, the transitions, everything. I wanted to use some different cards. I love the wild unknown, but I just feel like I needed that different energy. And so I thought about the good tarot and I love the good tarot. It's very dreamy. I felt like it really aligned with the Aquarian energy. So I think I might actually start shifting to this deck. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right. All right. So the message for all of us this week is a beautiful message. It's the messenger of the earth. So this is like really aligning with that earth energy because that's going to help you slow down. All right, aligning with that earth energy, feeling strong in what it is you're doing, feeling the messages, messenger, right? The messages of the earth coming forward so that you can move forward with that foundation that you're building with these new intentions. All right, earth is our pentacles, our money. Our earth energy is our work. So see that alignment. See that warm colors coming in. And know that there are messages coming forward for you as well, especially as you ground with your energy. So this is our great energy card for all of us for this week. So we'll see how it aligns with the card that you have chosen. So if you picked number one, I like this card too. This is the nine of air. All right, so this is beautiful. It's got the blues and the light colors here. It's in the mental plane. Look at the energy of the birds, the doves, the pigeons the birds, whatever they are around her. And this is about like really trusting, open your wings. All right, get out of the mind chatter and all those things you're telling yourself, the no good, I can't do, whatever it may be. Open your wings and really align with the higher vibration. This is like that feeling of elevated emotions. All right, definitely get out of the chatter of the mind. We don't need this at all, right? Open the wings, bring forward that creative energy as you move into the week, all right? And that will help you also to be that ability to bring in that ability to align and bring those messages from earth. So the second card is our major arcana tonight. And this is the justice card. So this is always a card about karma. What you put out is what is coming back to you. What is the justice in your own life? The actions you create this week, you may not know it, but later down the road, they're going to have some kind of karmic effect on you. All right, look at her. She has her wings open. She's got the staff in one hand and the scales in the other. Finding that balance. We don't want to be too sharp, right? And we don't want to sell ourselves short either. So what are your actions this week? Every action has a reaction, however you want to look at karma. But know that what you do can make a difference to other people as well. All right, I love this halo here. I love her wings. They're a little different than the other card we saw. All right, so as you recognize that balance for yourself, that will help you ground as well. All right, and the third card, this is great for our pentacles as well, the 10 of earth. And this is about really looking at the work you're creating. 
building that energy up. Things are working. Notice what it is. Just like kind of observe, take a step back and look at what it is. Things are working really well. All right, so this is a great card again too to ground your energy this week as you move through to notice what you're doing and notice how they're in alignment with the intentions you're putting out as well. All right, this is also about skills and crafts and learning those things that are helping you put your work out into the world. All right, great cards for all of us for this week. So the first was the messenger of earth. Look for messages, look for those signs, have those aha moments and ground your energy. This is in the pentacle energy, the earth energy. All right. It's good to notice what your work is. Spread your wings. Get out of those limited beliefs of the mind. Really open up. Use those higher vibrations to move you through as you go through this week. Find your balance. Notice what you're doing. Notice your actions and reactions. This is a karma building card as well. And then the 10 of earth is to take a step back and appreciate all the work that you've done. 10 are completions and beginnings. And this will help you. Like if this is working, we move it forward. If this is not, we let it go. This kind of thing. So taking the time, this is that slowing down. We're going to feel that everything is moving really fast with some of this Aquarian energy. So be sure to slow down. All right. So take a nice deep inhale and just notice how this energy comes in for you. Let me know if you have questions. All right. So yes, there was a new podcast yesterday. Really great. What's the difference between the energy energetically between a full moon and new moon and the bath ritual? Have fun. Check it out as well. All right. Yes, I do have some spots in my Empowered Spirit program opening up for the winter. Just a few more. If you're interested in doing some private mentoring, reach out. Come in. Talk to me. That kind of thing as well. All right. Definitely. All right. Thank you. You're welcome, Buffy, as well. Let me know if you'd like a card. I'll be here for a few more minutes. I can pick a few cards if you'd like. We're working with the, I was about to say the wild unknown. That's the old one. We're working with the good tarot. Okay. Oh, Alex, happy birthday. Hashtag Aquarius. All right. Definitely. Or the 31st. All right. So it's this week. It's a birthday week. All right, Alex, I miss you. When are y'all coming back to the Reiki circle or restorative? All right. All right. Here we go. This card is for you, Alex. Rissa, she'll take a card too, and Buffy too. All right, the Queen of Air. All right, so this is always an interesting card. So this is like knowing your thoughts. Look at the wise owl sitting on her. All right, this is a really great regal card to understand. Now, this is great, and this is like also details, knowing the details. And this is mutable energy, so having that flexibility, all right? So really know what your work has been this last year. Know how you're doing and what you're doing. Now, just be careful, and it kind of aligns with this card. All right, don't get too caught in the nitpicking of your life. Look at the bigger picture, especially this week. Open up those wings and really rise up to that higher vibration. This goes really well with that. Be the queen. All right, in my family, we started wearing crowns on our birthday. So get you a crown and wear that crown. All right, love it, love it, love it. All right, let's see here. Summer, summer loves my top because summer made it. All right, here we go. Summer, you got the star card. This is a beautiful card for you, all right? Guiding light up there in the sky. Look up and know that you are connected to the stars as well. This is a great hope card. Like, really, like, things are going to be okay. Love this card for you. It's a major arcana. Look how she holds the pot. Everything she needs is right in there. Look at the star behind her. All right, beautiful card. It's a 17, which equals an 8, which is that infinite possibility is coming your way. Great card for you, Summer. All right. Love it, love it, love it. All right, Buffy, a card for you. So, Buffy, this is the seven of water, all right? A lot of sevens going on. So this is about co-creating with the universe, like really getting creative and dreamy, intuitive, perfect for right now with that Pisces moon right now. So really, how can you bring some of this fantasy into the real world, all right? We don't want to get too much in the fantasy, but we also can realize we can co-create in so many other ways. Let the emotions flow. Let the energy move through and bring that in. Sevens are also known for like spirituality and so is that water energy. So go into your spirit. Use that energy to open up and figure out other ways you never thought possible. That said Aquarius energy to co-create in your life. All right. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right, Buffy. Hope that helps. All right, Maris. Maris, Maris, Maris. Here we go. Maris, the queen of water. All right, we've got a lot of water cards. So this, again, wear your crown. Know your emotions. Use your intuition. I know you do, so I feel like it's confirming. You have good intuition. Let the emotions flow and really align with this energy. 
All right, I love how she's like holding that profile. That's like confidence in who we are and confidence in knowing you have the ability to know your intuition. All right, great confirmation for you right now. I love it. Look at her earrings. They're so pretty. I love it. I have to make you. You love to wear long earrings. So there you go. Right in alignment with who you are. And don't hesitate to wear a crown either. All right. Love it. Love it. All right. Attitude. How are you guys out in San Francisco? All right. We've got the King of Fire. All right. This is a great card. And also look how much it aligns with the Chinese New Year, right? Just looking at the picture. So this is your passion and your desire. This is like knowing who you are, knowing what you're wanting to do, knowing you are your passion and your purpose. All right. A really great card. Look at the heart. There is some fire energy around it. That's what it is. That's passion and desire. Look how he's wearing that regal crown right there. So again, you can wear a crown too. It's just a different energy as well. I love all these crowns coming forward. But look at the wisdom. So know your purpose. Best of all, know you are your purpose. And bring that energy forward as you move through this week. All right? All right. All right. Buffy is telling Alex, happy birthday. Summer, thank you. Thank you so much. You look so beautiful. Thank you. Wonderful. It resonates. Excellent. All right. Anybody else did I miss? Yes, I'm so glad. All right, Kate. Kate, I thought I saw you in New Orleans. Is that right? Or was it just the weekend? All right, Kate, this card is for you. A messenger of air. All right, you're going to get a message coming soon. This is of the mental plane. So listen closely. Be in alignment with that energy. Really open up to spirit as much as you can to bring that message in. Really aligns with some of that Venus and Pisces energy coming in with the moon. All right, so Tuesday, make your wish. Put it out there. Speak it. Say it. Open up so that you can also align with the messages that the universe has for you. All right. I love that card for you. All right. Oh, Marissa has got her crown on. All right. Attitude. You've got your stars in your eyes. All right. New Orleans for the weekend. All right. There we go. All right. So we do have a very good week coming ahead. Put your work out there. Continue building your energy. Really take time to slow down. Increase your meditations. You're going to hear me saying it. I am seeing the benefits of my own life really opening up to that. So do the same because we do feel with all this forward motion, all this Aquarius energy that things are speeding up. And the only way to counter that, meditation, slow down, run your Reiki energy, and that's going to help you work through it. Be sure to check the podcast out. Before I go, anybody I miss, let me know. Let me know. I don't think I missed anybody else. I always feel like I hurt people's feelings if I miss them, but I don't mean to. All right. I think I got everybody else. Have a great week. Come join me, Birmingham Yoga Reiki Circle. All right. We do that on Wednesday nights at 530, followed by restorative yoga. We are building our Reiki community. We had a great meeting. We'll be talking more and more about that as well. All right, everybody. Thanks for the well wishes. I much appreciate it. I am okay. May end up with a new car. We will see. All right. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale, letting this energy guide you through the week, aligning with your intentions and those elevated emotions, peace, love, joy, prosperity. Have a great week. To your spirit, thank you for being here so much. Namaste.